Yes, this is my first video on how to do the natural dreadlock. Mostly, when we're doing the natural dreadlocks, we have to make sure we arrange our lines very neat. Then, the second, we know that natural dreadlocks, when it comes to unplating, it might be hard for you. So, at times, we'll have to break your hair to cut your hair off mostly those ones with soft hair uh, there's the way you're supposed to arrange it uh, compared to these ones with make sure that Morris the crochet master hello yes hello welcome 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 yes uh, my name is Maurice the crochet master and welcome to my youtube channel yes this is the uh, channel where you're going to find all types of hair cells and I make sure that I give it all and remember one thing that I do it my way so this is uh, what we are going to be doing you can also do it your way right if you can and now let's try to look at this hair cell it is going to be different from all of uh, the hair cell that we have been doing yes i know i haven't done any um any uh, 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 the, the, uh any video concerning about the natural dreadlocks and this time around it's when we have to know how to do the natural dreadlocks so for now i want you to give me attention so that we can do this together and before we do that let's first do this okay welcome back from that now let's continue with that uh, let's continue by um not doing all our steps so i would like you guys to give me your ears give me your time so that we get to learn this because now it is our first videos but mostly we just have to know uh, the basics and uh, i told you that if you want to learn or any hair cell the only thing you have to uh focus on is to listen to the uh, the words so because the words are the ones that can give you the basics on how to do uh, each hairstyle so now uh, one we are going to uh, first do the locking and uh, the good thing about the natural hair uh, it is different from the extent uh, from the extended red lock the one we have been doing the one that are temporarily is that uh, uh, the other temporarily dreadlocks we have been locking it when we are leaving the uh, the space um, we the, the 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 quarter inch when we are locking so that we can leave the space for the extension but now on this one uh, you can try even if you make it tight up to the scalp still it is also very fine since you're not going to add anything concerning about the extension so uh, first thing that you have to do this is like the first basic that you have to do you just have to uh, make sure that you arrange your dreadlocks very well you know why remember this is going to be natural this is the dreadlocks that someone is going to stay with all her life like maybe if she wants she will have to cut it off because she cannot amplify it so the first thing you have to do is to arrange it very very well because now you the uh the beginning of uh, you're the one who is doing the um at the beginning uh the the, the ready journey so that that means if it's now the journey for her a natural dreadlocks then it means the road is supposed to be very very clear because now we don't want to regret in future let's say like these people who have been doing uh, these natural dreadlocks and you find that those ones that they had 
uh, they had arranged them badly and now you reach at the extent where you cannot be uh, you cannot hold uh, or maybe uh, you feel like they're not smart like others but all in all it always comes um uh, we, 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 the, it, it comes because if they didn't arrange them at the first place so we always have to focus on the arrangement the arrangement is very very important and now when we leave uh, all that let's now try to focus on because now this is very very important very important the arrangement is is the number one that you should always know because yes these are natural dreadlocks so someone needs to look smart because i have been hearing most complex someone wants to uh, repeat uh, to redo their um their natural dreadlocks or maybe to cut them off and they begin a phrase the only thing is that is the arrangement and there are those people who feel like maybe they are not uh, smart enough but it is all about the arrangement so we should always focus on uh, doing the arrangement so now number two uh you see like the natural dreadlocks for them they are very very simple compared uh, to the uh, 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 uh temporary dreadlocks you know why that this one you just have to uh focus on uh someone's uh, um you just have to focus on only the arrangement and now now the hair the hair because remember we have different types of uh, hair texture those ones with soft soft hair so now here it becomes very very hard for those ones who have soft hair to do the natural dreadlocks i hope you understand that so it means if someone has got soft hair and is going to do the natural dreadlocks that means if we are making the lines or uh, making these uh, shapes, uh, the, the, the rectangular shapes, we have to uh, uh, um, make the the boxes support the, the, the rectangular is supposed to be somehow uh, big, to, so that you can gain the volume. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, uh, so that you can gain the volume. Or if you choose to make them then let them be very very small maybe let them be small but well arranged because remember we're focusing on uh, the uh, the we're focusing on the um the volume of the dreadlocks and how it's going to be so here i know you are trying to see like all things that i'm doing that too too different so let's uh, start with the uh, why am i using the comb yes i'm using the comb to back comb it so this back combing help me to uh, gain the volume and even to make my dread very very neat so after back combing i can get a small hair and i try to uh uh like this i try to uh hook it like the way we have been doing the other dreadlocks but this one is somehow different i can also do it from up and down up and down but this one is i don't always uh, make uh the the, the 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 arrangement is not like uh the the other ones of the extended dreads you understand and then another thing when i reach at the end at the end i don't uh mostly uh, i've been uh, the way you saw how I did the first line, yes, uh, but uh, the, the, the right way is that when you reach at the end, what you do, uh, it's not like you, 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 you don't turn back the dread. Uh, what you always do, you make sure that the first, uh, the first like this here, you make sure that all the hair is inside very well, all the hair is inside very well, and um, uh, after doing that, you always load like that. So let's focus on how to do uh, the endings because now <laughs> the endings is also very important. And I haven't showed you how you can do the endings. You understand? So here, 
this is how you do the the body like on the, the, the first place the uh, this is how you can always do it try to compare it with the first dreadlocks that we have been doing but this time around you use the very very small hair very small yes yeah, the one that you do it so now let's focus on this one yes we just have to first back it to gain the volume so after gaining the volume like this we start um we start with a small one that way like that that small one like that you see like that and um, i can do it like up and down up and down but this time around we do it we make the smallest hair so while we always do the smallest hair is like we don't want our um our braid like to show we don't want it to show that this is where the hook passed the crochet passed you understand yes we just have to make sure that it is all neat so after doing that you just come back and put all the remaining hair inside yes uh, the first one i was doing up and down up and down and now this one i'm doing only one time when i'm trying to put all the hair back then uh this is how you just have to keep on doing it like that to make sure that the whole the hair is all inside and it's all neat done let's try to focus at the end let's try to focus at the end you still back combat very well so that you can also get the last volume when it is also very equal with uh your braid let, let the, the ending note be very very small so you just have to bring it upwards and then you start hooking it going inside like that so that's the different way we do the ending than the uh, the extended dreadlocks that we have been doing so when you do all that yes like that and you have to rub it that way so there you're done with your dreadlocks so i think this is this is very is somehow very simple yeah it's somehow very simple but uh or is that we have we have to focus on uh making this hair like you see the hair all the hair to go inside and i'm trying to make the other system of the extended dreadlocks so that it can be easier for you like you can uh, uh it can be speedy you understand yes yeah, someone's not going to uh, sit for long long so one you have to focus on the arrangement and another thing now the ending down this is how you suppose and comparing compared to other uh, other uh, the, the uh that facial dreadlock that we have been doing and here you make sure that all the hair is inside then another thing that we have to focus on is the hook that we are using so now for me i'm using this but there are those people have like these hooks the, the, those ones that they have a uh, three uh three um oh, how can i say it <laughs> like they they have like three in one or oh, two in one yeah those ones are very very good you can always use them yes but now uh, this one i'm trying to show those ones who don't have uh, those hooks those ones that which are two in one or three in one that you can also even if you have the one you can also have your natural dreadlocks as long as you can try to combine the two uh, uh the two uh, methods of using all these and this time around guys i hope everyone everyone have tried to listen to the words because now we, most of the times we skip the videos and we don't understand what is inside but mostly i will have to explain so that at least we can know most of the things and now i'm gonna sign out guys may god bless you bye bye this was our natural dreadlocks my name is morris the crochet master bye bye mm -hmm.